welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're looking at, well, we're not looking at the Dyson V10. We're actually doing a little repair uh, troubleshooting video today. So I have, uh, I've mentioned on my videos before, I have a Dyson V10. Uh, I've, we have two of them, and we use them a lot. We have two beagles in the house, and uh, they get a lot of use. Well, unfortunately, one of the problems is with this one, the battery is no longer holding its charge. And so we are gonna go through the process of replacing the battery with a replacement battery that I ordered off of Amazon. And we're gonna go through a little testing to see if it's up to the caliber of the original manufacturer's battery. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna dig into this. I will say if you have a Dyson and you, the battery um, it gives out on you or it's not holding this charge you notice like you go to use it and like within a minute or a couple of minutes it's already out um, of charge and starts flashing at you then probably one there's a problem with the battery but your first step should be to contact Dyson because they do have a decent warranty on theirs and in my instance uh, it is now out of warranty so I don't have coverage for it ordered a replacement battery from Amazon uh, I think it was about 40 to $45 maybe. Um, the battery comes with a nice little manual that will walk you through the steps, but we'll do them together. Comes with uh, a few different, uh, a little screwdriver to get the screws out. Comes with a replacement filter. I was not expecting that. And it also comes with a little tool to, to clear out the, the beater bar on your Dyson brush. So nice little set and um, let's see how it does. To remove the existing battery, we are going to use their little screwdriver um, because it, it's kind of a smaller size. So unless you have a small screwdriver, this is probably a better fit. There are two screws here and here that you need to remove as well as one on the back here that we're going to take out. So let's just start with this. How long this replacement battery will last on the Dyson V10 with it running at max mode with the dirt bar on and a uh, roller bar on and um, we'll see how long, what kind of runtime we get. I'm just going to use a zip tie to get this to de depress the whole time because I'm not going to hold it. There we go. Let's see if you can see this. We got a runtime of seven minutes. Okay, well, let me focus here. There it is. Seven minutes, 29 seconds. Uh, well, just basically seven and a half minutes. Uh, that's running at full speed um, with the uh, beater bar. That's what I'm trying, the word I was trying to think of attached. So, probably a, a good stress test. We'll compare it to a factory OEM battery next. And now we're going to do the same test with the Dyson battery. It's not brand new, but it's still a fairly new unit overall, so I would expect its battery capacity to be um, a good representation of your normal performance. Same test. We'll have it on max, and we'll have the beater bar on, so it should be um, you know, the highest output from the battery. And we'll just start it up with the zip tie. So with the Dyson originally manufactured button uh, battery, I got eight minutes and two seconds. So, but definitely better than the replacement battery. However, I will say that within plus or minus 30 seconds is not bad. All right, well that pretty much wraps up this video. We wound up replacing this uh, Dyson vacuum, which was not working, not holding its charge, uh, barely held it for about a minute of run of time at max power, and replaced it with this one, which not quite as good as the uh, Dyson original at uh, when, when when it's working properly. The, the Dyson original battery ran for about eight, just a little past eight minutes at full power while running the beater bar. And this one ran for seven minutes and 30 seconds at full power running the beaded bar. So I would say that's pretty, pretty close. I mean, your, your individual trial may, may differ and in actual vacuuming, you're probably not going to notice that difference. This replacement was 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll have the link in the, in the description below. 
came with some nice extras like a, a decent filter and a few other little tits, uh, <laughs> tidbits. Um, I would say it's a, it's a good pickup, uh, particularly if your Dyson's out of warranty like mine was, where they're not going to send you an extra battery. Probably definitely cheaper than buying the battery from Dyson and uh, faster and easier to get, get it and get you back up in service. So uh, wholehearted recommend. I think it's a good value. And um, if you need it, you know, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll have the link. That's it for this video. Hope you uh, either learned something or maybe you didn't learn anything. I'm not very educational, but I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.